Hi guys, this is Jimmading bringing you a brand new Conan Exiles build video, this time from the little oasis pools in the desert at Quartz L3 or next to Mitra's giant feet. This was a really fun build on PC aimed more at PvE and roleplay. I'm using the amazing new architects of Argos DLC pack and some mods, all of which I'll list in the description. I'll also cover some of the issues and workarounds I faced from the usual jank that this game can provide. Now, let's get to it! Firstly, I cleared the build area of any trees, rocks, bushes and crocodilians. They burned up seven of my crocodilians. Next, I started laying out the foundations in the water that would eventually make up the outside courtyard and Argosian bath. Note, to create this pool there is some jiggery pokery needed to place the pillars in the corners because they overlap with the stairs. You build all but the last stair, then place the pillar, then place the last stair after because this game just loves to make it easy for you. Once so I was happy with how the floor plan looked with the bath and statues, I placed fences and started to make the courtyard roof. Here you can see how I didn't follow the same tiles with a courtyard roof as I did with a floor which started to create some issues. Always remember that whilst it's good to experiment with designs that aren't just a boring square, roof and ceiling pieces can blow your plans out of the water later down the line. In the end, I do like how it turned out though. With the basic form of the courtyard now down, I started building the gated foyer leading into the grand hall. If you're like me, your eye will have started twitching at the misaligned pillars and I already anticipated problems with building a roof based on my earlier experiences, so I smelt the entire hall and rebuilt it. To save you watching that again, I'll explain. The sections here in red were the problem, so I replaced these with square tiles and built a wall with door frames semi-closing off the hall. The pillars now nicely aligned and my eye stopped twitching almost immediately. Branching off from the main hall, I started on the smithy shown here in orange on the right of the building. Mm -hmm. 
what you'll see me doing in a second is taking advantage of the way foundation snap to create a slightly higher level than the ground floor. If you'd like me to explain how to do this, leave a comment on the video and I may even make a new video on it in the future. Anyway, I did this because the second story would have been too tall and blocked the light into the main hall. Uh, but having it one story tall would have been too low down and cramped as well. By sneaking an extra foot or so in with this foundation and using arena vaulted ceilings and a hatch frame in the middle, I think it makes for a sick little smithy area. I also cover the arena foundations on the outside with Argosian foundations which keeps the grand white marble look from outside whilst creating a gloomy and dingy atmosphere inside. Next, I start a small kitchen area that you see in orange on the left. I use wooden foundations from a mod to break up the monotony of Argosian marble floor everywhere. Mixing different material types in your builds can really help them pop. I now start to build the rear gated entrance to the Grand Hall which will lead out to the Temple, Stable, Animal Pen and Wheel of Pain. I use the fence foundation method to reach the level I want to build at instead of being confined to the snapping levels of foundations I've placed.
now I'm starting to decorate the main hall and wanted to bring it together with either a small tree or a large statue set in the middle of a water feature. Once again, I use the foundation layering method to reach the level I want to make the pool. You'll see me use it a lot in my videos. The open plan roof complements this design as whatever rain water this desert oasis gets would run into the pool. If I placed chairs or carpets in the middle, the roof wouldn't really seem feasible. I now create the living quarters shown here in orange. I had already built a room in one story by this point which you see me destroy now. I felt build a building this big would warrant more rooms so created a two story building with two rooms instead. At long last the main structure of the palace was up and I can now start on the rear outdoor area. Here I am using the middle floor tile from the large rear gate to line up the temple structure perfectly. Now it's not very PC but I have no clue what religion Argosians were meant to be in Conan lore despite trying to find out. So I went with a temple to Mitra because I feel the golden statue on the stone plinth goes really well with the Argosian build pieces. Next I build a simple low wall to enclose the rear area. In reality this is still completely accessible by jumping down the cliff towering over the Mitra temple but this was only meant to be a PvE slash roleplay build anyway. If you know of any way to combine aesthetic looking builds with decent PvP functionality leave a comment so I can learn it.
I now place the wheel of pain onto a rough wooden foundation. This was mainly to raise the wheel up out of the grass, which is another thing that makes my eye twitch. Now for the stable, I'm really pleased with how this stable turns out in the end with the hay covered floor and slatted Argosian awnings. I even end up using these awnings as a sunshade for the dining table on the waterside courtyard later. Waterside courtyard needed some detail now, so I start to construct the dining area and light it with some huge Argosian braziers. It was at this moment I also stumbled across the mossy ivy asset and absolutely went to town on the whole build with ivy. This ivy really helps it to pop and feel really lived in. Not wanting it to become too cluttered out here, I now finish the courtyard with some hops, planters, benches and flags along the perimeter of the area. Time to polish off the grand hall and finish decorating that now.
smithy and kitchen now get populated with crafting stations and thralls. Admittedly, the smithy was a bit cramped for my liking, so I'd probably make this a little bit bigger if I'd do it again. the kitchen and smithy finished, I now decorate the two bedrooms to make them look all pretty. The next few minutes are me adding some clutter and detail to finish off the outdoor rear area such as a fountain and lights and fences being added to the walls. When placing this fountain you might notice I use the vanity camera setting which is on PC by pressing the V key. This can help you line up larger assets that you place as it allows you greater movement of the camera without moving the actual asset you're placing so it can be very helpful. Lastly I place a mini animal pen from a mod in the rear outdoor area. With a few last minor details added the build was complete and I was really proud of how it turned out. I'll leave a little montage of the build now so you can enjoy it in all its glory. This is my first full length Conan Exiles build video but I have footage of at least two more builds that I'm putting together and I will also have ideas for a third build so I'd love to make a channel out of this type of material. To encourage this please do make sure you leave a like and comment and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any future builds. This has been Jimmy Ding, happy playing guys.